Are you ready? I don't I don't think I don't think you're ready guys. I, I don't think you're ready. Yo, what is up, team? It's you. It's Giles Vlogs, and today, today is back again with another video on your scripture Sunday. Every Sunday, we read scripture for you. You watching this video, I read scripture from the magnificent word of God, and I break it down so it can help your day, man. It can help your life and just impact you. I hope you're blessed by this word that God gave me, man. I know it blessed me, y'all. So, guys, hope it helps you, and you know what? Let's get right into it. Oh, that was kind of weird. I have my Bible now. All right, that was weird. Guys, I, I just went to Oklahoma on Friday, guys. It was so fun. My mom and I were actually going over there for a, my mom had a little extra a business. But, we you know, we had fun on the way, guys. We had this amazing barbecue, y'all. It was insane, man. I just, guys, it was incredible. I've never had barbecue that, uh, that good in my life. So, yeah, my mom said it was illegal. And I, I say the same thing. It was so good. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and read today's scripture. Actually, it's multiple scriptures, guys. It's like about, so one, two, three, maybe like four verses. And it's actually really good. Man, Jesus, this is Jesus speaking. And you know, Jesus, guys, he's cold with it. He's cold with it. So, let me go ahead and read it for you. So, so it's Matthew 6, 25 through 27. And it says, so it's Matthew 6, 25 through 27. It says, he says, therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat. Or what you would drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns. And yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more of value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? Ooh Jesus. Man, and also in one more scripture, Matthew 6, 33, it says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. That Matthew 6, 33 goes with the passage up above. So, it's now time to break it down. But guys, about a week ago, or you know, the other day, my mom and I went to this Bible college, right? I actually did a vlog there once, and my mom went to this Bible college, and they have like a pond area, right? They have a pond area, and they have a statue of Jesus holding a net. I should take a picture, man, but it's, it's a statue of Jesus holding the net, and there's fish. There's fish inside the water, and you know, it's a nice pond. Look at those fishes. One right there, one right there. Is there any more? No. Based on, you know, Jesus making the fishes of men, you know, the statement about I'll make you fishes of men to the disciples. And, you know, the fish are swimming in there and, you know, they're swimming, they're vibing, you know, they're doing the little fish dances and stuff. And, you know, they're just vibing, they're uh, swimming through the water, enjoying their day, enjoying their life in the water. But one thing I noticed about them, one thing I noticed that stuck out to me, and I'll probably always keep it, is that they were not worrying their movement was so smooth. You can ask my mom. My mom and I were just admiring how they were moving so swiftly and moving through the lily pads, moving through the um the water. And they weren't worrying. They weren't like, oh, they weren't like Kermit the Frog, like, oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh gosh. Okay, when am I gonna get oh when am I gonna get to the next lily pad? I don't know. No. They were totally vibing, totally chill, just not worrying. And in our life, we should be like the fish. That was why I called it faith like a fish. That is exactly why I called it faith like a fish. We should be like the fishes. We should be moving through the water, moving through the water, not worrying about the next step. And I'm going to go in a little bit deeper so you might understand because you may not understand what I'm saying. Jesus points out in his passage that we shouldn't be anxious with our life. Whatever it is, you may be waiting. You may be in a time of waiting in your life. You may be waiting for the right person. You may be waiting for... Uh, something to open up you even may be in a tough situation where you haven't been in before you may have um, be you may be in a place where you don't know how to figure something out well we should be like the fish we should not worry Jesus did not want us to worry the reason why the fish isn't worrying and moving like Kermit the frog you know the meme when he's like oh no well the reason why the fish isn't doing that is because it's no it knows it's being provided by someone I'll say it again the reason why the fish isn't worrying is because it knows that it is going to be provided by someone and I, the way I, the reason why I say it is because it's the Bible college, right? And there's a, it's a pond, so the people in charge have to keep the pond, you know, fresh. You know, the water, they have a little tube thing where the water comes in. Well, they also have to feed the fish so the fish, you know, can stay alive and we can admire the beauty, you know. But they keep it, they feed the fish. 
the fish know they probably feed the fish maybe probably every day then they put like little seeds or petals pebbles they may even feed them like little baits of little um i don't know what fish eat like maybe they may feed worms they may feed um what do fish eat algae i don't know <laughs> well guess what that provider what does that provider represent that provider represents god we don't have to worry when we know jehovah gyro let me say that again. Let me say that one more time. We do not have to worry when we know Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh means God our provider. It's actually a song by Elevation Worship God. You gotta go check it out. It's called Jireh. Such a beautiful song. And it talks about this passage. It talks about Matthew 6, 25 through 33 about how the lilies of the field and the birds are still being fed. The lilies are being clothed. And you may be wondering, why do we worry? You know, you may be tired. You may be worrying and, you know, sometimes... I may worry, and I'm like, why am I worrying? Why am I worrying? Why is this happening? What is the root? Well, there are sometimes, or a lot of times, the reason why we worry is because we don't know. A lot of times we worry because we don't know something about something. Like I said, you may be waiting. We Sometimes when we wait, we don't know what's next. We don't know what's going to happen. You have that tough situation in your life that you've never been in before. You don't know how to figure it out. You don't know how to get to the next step. But the thing is... We do know something. We know someone. We know God, the one who knows all things. He's omniscient. He knows everything. So, you know what? You may not know everything everything about your situation. You may not know what time you're going to be there. You may not know what day. You may not know when, but you do know God. You do know the omniscient, omniscient God. You do know the omnipresent God. And you know the omnipotent God, which means all-powerful, all-knowing, and everywhere. Now, I don't know about you. Now, I don't know about you, but I want to put my trust in the one who knows all things. I want to put my trust in the one who's already set on my destiny. I want to put my trust in the one who's already wrote the chapter of my life. And Jesus says you don't add anything or you don't grow anything when you worry. And actually, John Hagee, a famous picture, I'll put him over here. John Hagee, he actually says that worrying is like sitting in a rocking chair you're keep you're moving but you're not going anywhere you're going back and forth you know just like a rocking chair you're going back and forth in your thoughts worrying you're going when am i going to go there oh when's this going to happen oh no when is she going to get there when am i going to go there you're moving but you're not moving as you, you can tell you're moving back and forth but you're not progressing in your life you're not moving to the next step but guess what you do add something you do add something when you seek first the kingdom of god you remember matthew 6 hold on let me get it up real quick it says but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you when you seek god's kingdom when you seek the righteousness of god when you seek the righteousness of god and jesus those things that you're worrying about those things that you're trying to figure out will be added to you jesus gives the example about animals when i saw that fish i thought of, exactly thought about this passage it talks about a bird it talks about how the bird flies and the bird you know doesn't worry about his next meal because god still sends food well he said are you and then he says are you not much better than they you are worth much you're worth much more than a bird flying you know you may see birds flying in the frame you're much we're worth more than a fish in the water because god sent jesus to die for your sins god sent jesus to carry your sins you are forgiven in christ you are forgiven in god he says, cast all your anxieties on him. Cast all your care because he cares for you. God cares for you so dearly. He doesn't want his child. He doesn't want his child uh, carrying all that weight. I actually did a TikTok about it. But give it to God. God doesn't want you carrying all that weight on your back. God doesn't want you moving your life with all that weight in the past. Give it to God. Give it God the thing that you're worrying about. Give God the thing that you're trying to figure out. I'm sure those fish in the water, um, no, fish is, you know, fish is, fish is, I don't think is a word, but fish, those fish in the water are moving through the waters. Um, they're not worrying about when the next meal, they're not worrying about, though, the way they're moving is so peaceful and so smooth and just so calming. Why? Because they know the provider. They know that the provider will be there for them at six o'clock. They know the provider will be for them at three o'clock. God will be there at the right time. I'm telling you today.
so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i hope it blessed your life and you know leave a like if you want to and you know i encourage you to subscribe and you know when you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can get notified when i every time i post a video and yeah and also comment down below if you know if you subscribe comment down below so i can give you a shout thank you guys for all the support and if you want to go check out one of my books feel free to go check out my website giles books Dot com guys remember don't worry don't worry you know put your trust in god put your faith in god and be like the fish you may subscribe but you're also family stay positive stay happy and remember <clears throat> never give up i'll see y'all next time peace